Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. We will be painting an underwater scenery with some coral reefs. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so now and enjoy the video. the background of the layer I'm adding some dark greens and blending it with some white and then also blending it with some dark blue and some white to create this underwater vibe for the background. For the second layer we want to mark out where our coral reef will be. For this we use a Montana marker with a 15 millimeter white tip. It is acrylic based and they have a very great opacity so now we're just adding details with different colors that will be in the background of the painting Again, I'm not affiliated with this brand in any ways, but the Montana markers, they have the best opacity from all the markers that I've tried so far. I can really recommend those. This wouldn't be one of my paintings if I don't throw at least a little bit of paint at some point. So yeah, we're just adding a little bit more details here to create the cool dynamic and give it a little bit more of a active feel. And I don't know if you can see it yet, but I'm using the dark blue as the outline for my coral reef. This will be sort of the border. So that's why we're covering this up with masking tape now. Now we're just adding a thin layer of structure paste to create the surface of a coral reef. Now we're just creating some contrast to the first layer uh, using different colors to create a cool interesting coral reef. just adding a few more details within the coral reef and in a second I'm gonna remove the masking tape and just with this white pen I'm gonna create some depth to the border but uh, eventually I'm gonna cover it again I just always need to see how the painting in total feels so that's why I removed the masking tape even though I'm gonna put it back on in a second So yeah, as mentioned before, we're covering again this area, but all the details that we added now, they will make a difference in the end. Sometimes you can't really notice it within the videos, but the darker colors and small details, they do shine through. So it was a very important step within the painting process. It's 
always exciting to reveal what is left underneath the masking tape to see the full painting in its whole glory. So we're doing that now. I really like the results. I think the contrast but still watery kind of vibe of the coral reef really fits in with the background. It wouldn't be a coral reef if there weren't any plants floating around so that's what we're just adding now. I have probably around, I don't know, 70 different templates of these flowers, plants, I don't know. So yeah, that's what we're doing now. This painting is really coming together. If you liked the video so far, please press the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. Have a nice day and bye bye.